New York State Department of Labor Office of Unemployment Insurance, your call is being recorded for quality assurance. Hi, I'm Cheryl. How can I help you today? Hi. Oh, hi. Uh, sorry, I was on hold for so long before I got hold of an actual person. Yeah, we've been a bit busy today. Um, so I applied for unemployment the day I was laid off and I still haven't received benefits. Oh, okay. Let me open up your account now. Yep, it says you applied for benefits on March 18th. Wow, it's only been a couple of weeks, but it does feel like forever. <laughs> what a world. Yeah, um, so shouldn't I have received a check by now? You totally should have, and I'm so sorry about this. Let me just, okay. Oh, I see what's going on. You're not verified. What does that mean? We haven't been able to verify your identity. Okay, look, I'm not one of those people who can go weeks without working. I need money. Oh, I hear you. Do you know what my rent is? $1,700. And I live in Albany. <laughs> what is that about? Okay, so like, what do I need to do to get verified? Don't worry. It's actually super simple. All you need to do is print out a copy of your driver's license and mail it in. I don't have a printer. Huh. Normally, I would say just go to Staples or something. But we can't leave our apartments. Mm, yeah, this is tricky. Okay, mm. like, can I take a picture of it? Or like, is there some other way to get verified? Like, <laughs> I could give you my social or my mom's maiden name or my blood type. <laughs> <laughs> There's really nothing we can do with that. Funny story, my husband got laid off last week and they wouldn't let me verify him. And I was like, I've been sleeping next to this man for seven years, but he still had to send in a copy of his passport. Mm, that is funny. Listen, I know this really stinks. Let me talk to my supervisor and see what we can do, okay? Okay. All right. Oh, oh my god. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Um, okay. Are you, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so my supervisor said that's not possible. What? Are you, you gotta be kidding me? Come on, this is ridiculous! Actually, he said it with a lot more expletives. Things are a little crazy right now at the unemployment office. Well, yeah, there's a lot of angry, unemployed people out there. Yes, there are, and they yell at us every day. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I yelled. No, it's okay. It's okay. I expect it from you, but I don't expect it to get from my supervisor, you know? Yeah, have you told him that it bothers you? Uh, no, <laughs> but I need to. You're a grown woman, Cheryl. You need to advocate for yourself. <sighs> Is there anything else I can do to get myself verified? Uh, maybe you can email a friend and ask them to pay, email it, send it to you, print it out. Yeah, I'll try. I'll try to have them print it out. That's a good idea. Yeah. Cheryl. Yeah. I'm. I'm just so happy I could help. Right. Um. Well, I'm late for my Skype appointment with my therapist, so I should probably go. I'm just happy I could help one person today. <laughs> Great. Anyways, thank you for calling New York State Unemployment. And as I always say, uh, don't let your job or not job define you. Oh my God. Hi, Phoebe. Hi, Lauren. Sorry, I had a phone call. This is your time. Before we begin our session today, I just want to say that I'm working from home and I'm still figuring out what that looks like. So I'm just going to ask you to bear with me. This is all so unprecedented. Wow. Oh my God. You have a beautiful home. Oh, thank you. My wife is using our office for work calls and she's a little loud, which is why I'm outside. Wait, where are you? Oh, um, I had to get away from New York, so I, I came to our place in Malibu. <laughs> what? Oh, okay, so how are you feeling? Um, I'm okay. 
I'm doing okay. I mean, my boyfriend broke up with me and I got laid off from my job and now I am living in my own place, you know, since March. So I am trapped here. <laughs> Do you feel trapped? That was a joke. But yeah, I, I do. Yeah, I completely understand. A lot of people are feeling that right now. I mean, I'm feeling that right now. And that is okay. This is all so unprecedented. <laughs> it's just hard to imagine you could feel trapped because it looks like you're sitting by a pool. <laughs> mm. Okay, well, I, I think everyone is entitled to their feelings no matter where they're sitting. Okay. I'm just saying, I'd love to have a pool and like an annoying loud wife. Okay, but in some ways, it might be interesting to be alone right now. It might give you some space to discover some things about yourself. I guess, but... There are plenty of people who are quarantined with family, roommates, spouses, who would probably love to be in your shoes. Seems like everybody I know is pretty happy to be with their significant others. Really? No. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> okay, sometimes when I'm... When I'm feeling trapped, I like to let out a primal scream. Sure. It really bothers Eden, my wife. But we all have to do what feels right for ourselves during this. And if that's a primal scream, then I think that's okay. And if people don't like it, they can just turn up their podcast and tune us out like they normally do. I am so sorry. That was really unprofessional. But this is an unprecedented time. Are you okay? Oh, I will be, and that is my professional opinion. But let's keep the focus on you. Fine. What's going through your head right now? Mm, like when am I going to get to eat a meal with a person or get a hug? We can't know. Like when am I going to have sex again? You know, in 18 months or in three months with a mask on? Oh, I get it. I wonder that to myself all the time. When you're going to... I haven't had sex in six months. I think I'm hearing you say that you are wanting emotional connection, even though you are physically isolated. I don't know. I'm fine. I'm doing okay. I keep saying that I'm okay. I'm okay. So? Why do you think you keep saying that? I don't know. Maybe because I'm okay. <laughs> maybe that's worth exploring. Yeah, and everyone in my life sucks and treats me like a five-year-old. Do your friends worry about you? Yeah, I mean... They always did, but this pandemic has made it like a million times worse. And like, I'm finally doing okay. And mm -hmm. I don't want to be people's charity case. Ugh, I know exactly what you mean. Do you? I can't imagine you being anyone's charity case. It looks like you're drinking seltzer out of a wine glass. Are you threatened by my stemware? Maybe, I don't know. I just want everything to be normal. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Not now. Eden, I'm working. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. I think we should just um, finish a little bit early today. Eden, get him out of here. Get sure? him out of here. Say? Eden keeps bringing people over to the house. Eden, we are in isolation. This is an unprecedented time. I'm so sorry. Does the same time work for you next week? Yeah, I think so. Hey, look, do you have, do you have a sliding scale or anything like that? A sliding scale? No, I don't. Okay, you know what? You cannot have a pool party when there's a glow. See you next week. Okay, anyway, uh, Megan, a great job on the mailers. Let's just hope that people <laughs> go out to their mailboxes. And uh, Phoebe, if you could start talking to Will and start syncing everything up to our social, that would be great. And that should just about do it. Cool. Uh, okay, gang, <laughs> we could do this. We could get the company through this. And if you won't do it for me, you know, uh, the very least I think you could do it for is my daughter. <laughs> and we're a family, so she's your daughter too. So just uh, think about that. <laughs> Look at her face. All right. Bye. 
Wow. I guess I'm a mommy now. <laughs> I mean, you know, they, they say you're never really ready to become a parent. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, so I, uh, uh, so can I, sorry, can I actually just talk to Meg for a minute? Oh yeah, totally. Uh, I'll leave the meeting. Oh, Hey, Hey, I miss you. Don't you wish we could be drinking wine from the couch right now? Yeah. I mean, I am drinking wine. So. Oh, me too. <laughs> mm. But yeah, man, it would be nice to be together. I am not handling solitude well. Ugh. I am still proud of you for getting your own place. The timing's just weird. I mean, if we only knew it was going to be a pandemic. <laughs> yeah, I mean, how could we know? Well, the epidemiologist knew. And South Korea knew. So. Right. Anyway, this is why I wanted to talk to you. I thought since we both live alone, we could kind of give each other like moral support because I need it. Actually, I've been wanting to talk to you too. I'm not alone. Did you get another roommate? I thought you weren't going to. No, I met someone. You met someone? <laughs> Babe? Babe, you met someone during the pandemic? <laughs> hey. This is yeah. Campbell. <laughs> wow. Hi, Campbell. How you doing? This is yeah. Phoebe. Where did you two meet when we're not supposed to leave our apartments? Funny. Uh, well, we. Well, no. You want to oh, say? No, do you I want to go for it? No, no, you should say it. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're talking at the same time. Campbell lives in the N unit next door. He moved in March 1st. Yeah, it's way closer to my office. He works in finance. Uh, uh, finance. JP Morgan. I know. I know. <laughs> I know what? You <laughs> see people giving him a hard time for working in finance. Yeah, like you. Well, I swore I'd never date a finance guy. Finance bra, she said. They're misogynist and consumerist. Hard pass. Okay, okay. Agree to disagree. <laughs> mm, yeah. So last Friday, we both stick our heads out the window for the seven o'clock clap. Yeah, I never miss a clap. I think it's one of the most beautiful things the city does. Plus, I miss clapping for sports. And he has a tambourine. And I was like, who is this guy with this tambourine? It was me. Yeah. <laughs> I got it on Amazon. I thought I should step up my clap game. Oh, yeah, it totally does. Yeah. Uh, oh, might buy a tabla next. It's a drum. <laughs> anyway, we got to talking. <laughs> and it turns out that we both really love Love, love is Blind. Love, love is Blind. <laughs> and now right? here we are. Wow. You met someone out your window and now you're isolating together. Yeah, well, we kind of combined apartments. We use mine to work from and then we hang out at his because it has a balcony. I got to see the sky. It's kind of my thing. Crazy. <laughs> I found well, love in a hopeless place. <laughs> love, huh? Yeah, I know it's moving kind of fast, but you know, when it's real, it's real, you know? you know? I don't know, actually. <laughs> oh, how about you? How's George? <laughs> oh, we broke up. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. You hated George. Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, well, wait, uh, time for a rebound. How am I going to do that? On, like, Zoom or FaceTime or something. <laughs> I don't think so. But are you still on the apps? No, I got a fumble during George, which was stupid. Get back on. What's the point? You know when you get when you're alone. If you jump back in now and have a fun little rebound, you'll bounce back faster. Get yourself out there. I literally cannot. Uh, maybe you could like meet someone on Zoom or um, I think they're doing like singles events now or, or maybe you could meet someone on Switch. <laughs> you think I could meet someone on my Nintendo Switch? I don't know. I'm just trying to think. I don't like you being alone through this. Remember when you passed out because you didn't eat for an entire day? Okay, first of all, that happened like one time and it was only because I was trying and succeeding to win at a Fortnite Battle Royale. Yeah, I wish you weren't alone. Okay, well maybe, oh, I could stick my head out the window and see what happens. <laughs> Shit, sorry, we gotta go. We're going to Campbell's sister's baby shower on Zoom. <laughs> wow, you're meeting the family? I know it sounds crazy, but I really like him. He makes me happy. And it's hard to be happy right now. 
Yeah. That's really good. But it doesn't hurt that he has the looks of a Barnett, but the heart of a Cameron. Ugh, is that love is blind? Or the looks of Connor with the heart of Anton. Love Island. We watched that too. <laughs> Okay, we'll have fun. <laughs> okay, thanks. Bye. Love you. Talk to you soon. Love you. Oh my god. That's so stupid. That's so stupid. <sighs> Phoebe. Hey, I uh did not expect to hear from you. Hi. Hi, George. Uh, <laughs> um I've reconsidered your offer for one last Zoom sex and I would like to participate. Mm, sweet, sweet, that is, uh, that is so great, that's great. Um, but hey, I'm actually just in the middle of a thing. Are you <clears throat> having Zoom sex with someone else? Yes, yeah, um, say hi, Lindsay. You, I'm kidding, she's, she's naked. I'm naked. Ooh, um, yeah, but hey, we're gonna be done, um, Soon, very soon. Um, so do you wanna stand yeah, why by or? Why, why don't you just call me back? Cool, yeah, okay. Oh, hey, uh, did you, um, did you ever end up getting the COVID? I did not, I don't think, so that's good. That's great, that's so great. You, you're, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. yeah, thanks, George. Um, yeah. See you in a few. <laughs> yes, you will, okay. Oh man, okay, it's gonna be fun. Oh my God. Oh.